Hi, I'm Patricia Leonard and um, I'm sitting here in my office and looking out the window and it's spitting rain and snow. And I thought, what can I do to motivate myself? <laughs> so I decided to start writing. That's something that I love to do is just write my thoughts down. And while I was doing that, I was thumbing through a poem book, a poetry book, and I saw something that I thought really speaks to the time we're in. If you think about it, the beginning of any year, we're all making resolutions of what we're going to commit to that year and the companies are coming up with new product ideas and the film industry is, uh, making new movies and, um, you know, all kinds of things are beginning to happen. So we're uh, sports events, which I love, and um, all kinds of things are going on. This year has been very different as it has begun. And it's almost as if everything is at a standstill. Uh, Carol Adrian in her book, The Purpose of Your Life, calls it the void. It's when we're going through a time that we don't know where we fit or exactly what, um, what we're going to be doing. And we all go through that at different times in our lives. So it seems like 2021 is going through that void in the first part of the year. But I ran across this poem and I loved it and I thought I'm going to share it because just maybe it'll motivate you too. It's a poem by Maya Angelou, and it's called, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. And I think that if you think about it, many people, and including myself, have felt like since this year started that uh, we're in some kind of cage and the door is closed and we don't know how to open it or we don't know if we should open it. And um, we feel like we're caged in right now. We're wearing masks, we're doing all the things that seem to constrict us from the freedom we want or the freedom that we like. And I wanted to, uh, to share this because uh, I just want to encourage everyone, including myself, to keep dreaming, to keep talking, to keep planning, to keep, uh, uh, feeling positive about life and keep our motivation because in these times of stillness, of um, void, like uh, Carol Adrian is talking about in her book, those are and can be some of the most creative moments because we don't have everything, the hustle and bustle going. So this can be a very productive time and a time where we can help each other stay motivated and um, do our greatest work and our greatest um, contribution to society. So I just wanted to share this and I think hopefully it will give you some um, feeling that you still have choices and that these things happen in our life. We have disappointments sometimes. We have periods of time that we have to take a break. We may have lost our job, or we may have had an illness, or someone in the family, or something happens that there is a stopping of the events in our lives. And I thought her book really starts to help us see that even though we feel caged in, there are still some things that we can do. Let me read some from her poem. The free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current ends and dips his wings in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky. I think that what, the, what that says to me is even though we feel like that we can't move, we can't do anything. We're still free to just dip our wings in to the moment, to find out what's going on, to get in touch with ourselves, to see what is beyond the moment that we're sitting in and to soar up in the sky 
in our mind, in our motivation, in our dreams about what is possible from this moment on and that we want to happen in our life. But a bird that stalks down the narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. So we get mad, we get angry, we get frustrated because in the moment of our anger and our frustration and our disappointment about the beginning of this year, we can't see beyond the bars that seem to be constricting us, holding us back. And so what the, the bird does is even though I can't see where I'm going or what's going to happen, I can be free to dream, to sing. They're talking about singing. So the bird says, I sing my song. So I say to you, sing your song. Don't let anything get in the way of expressing the song of your heart. The caged bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown, but longed for still. And his tune is heard on the distant hill for the caged bird sings of freedom. We all know that this will pass, that this time is a period of time that maybe it's for our best and highest good to reflect, to learn how to slow down, to appreciate our family, to be grateful for the things we have in our lives, to connect with somebody in some way that contributes to their life, to do something that you've been wanting to do for a while as long as it helps you develop and move beyond. Write a song, write a book, write a poem like Mo Maya Angelou did. If that's not your bag, do something, maybe paint a picture, maybe just call somebody and talk to them. How can I help you today? I was thinking about you. Send a card to someone who's in um, senior campus to let them know you're thinking about them. There are so many things that we can do to number one, stay motivated, even though it feels like our cage door is locked. It isn't just locked on the things the way they were, but not the things the way we can create or what can be. It only looks that way from our perspective. So be like the caged bird. Sing your song out there of freedom, of motivation, and knowing that you have something to give to somebody else. And hug yourself. Give something to yourself. <laughs> hug yourself and say, Patricia, I love you. Say it to yourself. And be grateful for the day, be grateful for the year that's emerging, and be grateful for the dreams that are in your heart that are manifesting. Be patient as you walk through this time of stillness, not knowing, and feeling as if you're in a cage and can't do anything because nothing can keep you from singing your song of dreams, of hopes, and motivation. This too will pass. Have a great day. And I'm so excited. I feel motivated myself just sharing this with you. <laughs> I hope it helps you. Love you all. Take care.